What's up, guys? Welcome back to another film session breakdown presented to you by the Birdsaw Law Firm, the official injury lawyers of Pro Pels Talk. Zion Williamson in his last six games, averaging 28 and a half points per game, nine rebounds, four assists. We all know what he can do on the offensive end. What's made this team a lot better and make some actual contenders is his activity defensively. And I'm going to show you a couple clips of what I mean, especially from this Brooklyn game last night. All right, first clip. The, one of the worst defensive performances I've seen from Zion Williamson was against the Lakers in the in-season tournament uh, Final Four. He was getting back cut, slot cut, couldn't keep anybody in front of him. Watch what he's doing now. So Schroeder's going to drive baseline. Najee's going to come over, take the roll. Larry now has to t- uh, take this drive. So Zion's um, role here is to drop here to the baseline to take away Cam Thomas. So Zion realizes it, takes this away. So now Schroeder can't throw to Cam. He's got to throw to um, Dorian Finney-Smith. We get a decent contest, miss it. We box out Trey. Great job there tapping out to Najee Marshall. So all, all right off the bat, a great rotation there from Zion Williamson. We talk about the second clip. This is the effort I'm talking about. Okay. So we missed the steal. That's okay. How many times this year, especially early on in the year, when we all know Zion wasn't in the best of shape, he would just kind of hang around half court. Eh, I don't really want to get back in the play. I'll go play offense. Watch what he does here. Gets back in the play, creates a deflection. Now the Pelicans are in transition with Trey Murphy, Najee Marshall, and CJ McCollum, and it finishes in an and one. But it's all because Zion Williamson doesn't stand he gets back in the play, deflects it here to Larry, and now the Pelicans are playing an advantage. When the Nets were playing an advantage, now the Pelicans are because simply Zion Williamson's effort and getting back in the play creates the Trey Murphy and one. All right, this is how good Herb Jones is. So I'm going to play this clip, and then I'm going to break it down for you. You're going to look at it, and it's like, ah, it's kind of like just a missed three-pointer, and we get the rebound. So Zion Williamson actually messes up this rotation. So we get a slot. Slot drive here. Herb Jones cuts him off. JV does a good job uh, stepping up. So now the Pelicans are supposed to X out here. What do I mean by X out? Trey Murphy, who's guarding Mikel Bridges, now realizes that Zion's in help. Trey will take corner. Zion's supposed to take Mikel. That's the X, if you see there. Instead, Zion waves and doesn't realize that Trey Murphy's doing his job. So instead, he goes corner. So now there's two on the ball. Herb Jones. I'm going to circle him right here. Herb Jones realizes that Zion messed up the rotation. It's okay. This happens all the time in an NBA game. It happens all the time in basketball. Herb Jones now takes Zion Williamson's assignment and closes out on Bridges to where he can't shoot. So now they have to swing it here to Schroeder, and Brandon gets a decent contest, and now it's a miss. This is how good... Herb Jones is. And the problem I have is that the Pelicans aren't always on national TV, so all these voters don't get to see these type of plays. Herb Jones realizing, not only stopping the drive, but the recognition and the awareness of understanding that we're out of rotation, so I now have to go take Mikel Bridges is outstanding. It's otherworldly. This is not normal. Herb Jones is a first team, not a second team, not a third team. He's a first team all NBA defender. Because of plays like this. Because we see it nightly. Now, I don't know how many national media members and people that vote are watching Pelicans uh, against the Brooklyn Nets on a, on a Tuesday night. But this shit we see every single night. Back to more Zion Williamson defensive effort here. Once again, matchup on Schroeder. Okay, this is a decent move here from Schroeder. Zion gets... What I like here about Zion is that he's, he's walling him off. He's shuffling his feet. He gets caught here, but it's okay. Decent contest. We're going to live with that. That's that's fine. He makes it. This is what's been different about the Pelicans. Okay, he makes it. But we know Zion Williamson is now in transition. Look at Borrego here. Borrego saying pick up the pace. Great job here from Brandon Ingram. One, two, throw it up. Layup. So, yes, tip your cap. Schroeder hits a great shot on Zion, whatever. We don't walk it up. Brandon gets it. One, two, dribble, throw it up. Two points. That's the difference in Zion Williamson and the Pelicans is that they're even if they're getting beat, they're still out and running and playing with pace. Back here to another defensive effort here from Zion Williamson. In a stance. Top of the key, in a stance. Okay, I'm going to back up. I'm going to move my feet. Okay, now here's the switch. This is Mikel Bridges. Good contest. You know what I like about here about Zion? He's aware now. 
I, I know he gets caught against Cam Thomas here on the right wing later in the third on a foul on a three points up, but watch Zion look down at his feet. So like, I'm not going to get in his landing space. I'm going to do a decent job contest. And now we're going to clear the rebound and go. So then Zion here post up Mikel Bridges one. I mean, it's a foul. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's a fucking like Mikel Bridges has his right shoulder into Zion Williamson's right shoulder. Dorian Finney Smith is assaulting him. Still doesn't. Not a foul. Fine. Get my own rebound. Make it. But it's the awareness and the pace of the Pelicans. Larry Nance doing a great job bringing it up. And look, Zion demanding the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. I got him. Give me the basketball. Got it. One dribble. Power move. Go through. Foul. Layup. Two points. Zion Williamson playing with pace, demanding the basketball. All right. The Nets try to switch Schroeder on to Zion multiple times last night, and multiple times they lost the matchup. They get the switch. Shuffle feet. Move. Nope. Once again, Zion shuffling his feet, beats him to a spot. Good stance. He's low. Gets the gets out there. Could have been a foul. They don't call it because they're not calling the lean-in stuff. Straight up. Bridges makes this. But look, this is what I want to show you. If Bridges makes this, he makes it. There's 0.9 seconds left on the shot clock. It's not a good, it's not really a good shot. It's a contested shot. Unfortunately, things like this happen. But what I'm more impressed about is being able to switch. Onto a guard again, cut him off baseline, no foul, straight up, Bridges hits a three. You should tip your cap. But that's good defense again from Zion Williamson shuffling his feet. Okay, got the switch here again. It's now Cam Thomas. Watch this. Cuts him off. Stance. Close out. Miss. Once again, look at the footwork. Forcing baseline, good footwork. On the left side of the court, left left foot up, right foot and drop. Good stance, cuts him off, no hands. Cam Thomas tries to turn back right, doesn't fall for it. Good stance, keeping him to one side of the floor, closes out with his left hand up, doesn't get in his landing space, we're going. Jose's got it and throws in the fourth row of the stands. That's neither here nor there. But that's another great defensive possession there from Zion Williamson. Okay, once again, Schroeder, switch on to Zion. Love the stance here. In a good stance, not giving anything up, gets through the screen, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. CJ in a good stance, good stance, three seconds left in the shot clock, and you live with that. All because they tried to get the switch on Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson stayed disciplined, moved his feet, did not play with any hands. Another great job there from Zion Williamson. We just saw this one. So, once again... Cuts him off. Bad shot. I mean, you just tip your hat there. All right. Let's talk about some offense here from Zion Williamson. Post up. One-on-one. Jab step. Two dribbles. Foul. Layup. He's playing with pace and how quick these actions are. So he's surveying the floor. Catch it. Good spot here. Surveys the floor. Larry's going to try to screen here for Herb. Good space between Brandon and CJ. Everyone's out of the paint. What does Zion do? Jab. He's going to go right. That's a foul. That's an, that's another foul. That's a foul. Three fouls, two points. Love this from Najee, man. Najee Marsh is playing some good basketball right now. Let's break this down. So the Nets are trying to get desperate here. They're up down 13 and trying to trap. So now the Pelicans are playing four on three. Jose here at the ball. Zion, Trey, Najee. Najee spacing corner. Cut it easily caught and shot. Cut it easily caught and shot. Instead, what does he do? Shows and goes. There, Zion repositions. Love this from Zion. Repositions on the left-hand side. They're too slow on the rotation because now this guy, I think it's Claxton, has to make a decision. Do I give up three with Trey or do I give up the layup? By the way, guys, never give up the layup. Always give the three. I know Trey's an incredible shooter, but it's basketball one-on-one. You always take away the layup because even I can make this. Zion Williamson, great job repositioning. Najee Marshall playing unselfish basketball. That's a great attack from Najee Marshall. I love the way he's playing. Get the switch from Zion. Top of the key, four out, one in. Surveys, I love this from Z. I love this from Z. They're forcing him right. They're forcing him right. All right, well, I'm going to go right. So he goes right. And look at the top. 
the touch. One drip. Look. Mm. With Zion Williamson playing like this, with the effort defensively, and then we all know that's why I didn't really break anything down the offense. Obviously, we all know he had an incredible dunk last night, which we played on the stream. But if he's going to give you this defensively, it gives Willie Green and this coaching staff so many different options of small ball five. You can switch one through five. You don't have to play drop. You can do so many different things because Zion Williamson is bringing it defensively. And this is what makes the Pelicans a nightmare. It's because if Zion Williamson is going to play both sides of the floor, this team's really, really hard to stop. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Love to hear your all's thoughts.